Here we are going to solve this equation, 2x plus 1 is equal to square root of 10x plus 5. We have this square root, and the good thing right here is that this square root is isolated on the right-hand side already. With that being said, first step, we are just going to square both sides, because this way we can cancel out the square root right away. So let's do that. I will square the left-hand side like this. Likewise, we'll do the same on the right-hand side. And you see that square, square root cancel each other out. On the right-hand side, we will just have 10x plus 5, like this. However, on the left-hand side, 2x plus 1 in this parentheses and then square. Be sure we write it down somewhere on the side, work it out, and then we'll put on the result over there. So, 2x plus 1 square. This means I should write down 2x plus 1. This, twice, right? So I'll put this down again, 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. Be sure we follow this out. So let's see, I'll draw the arrows to keep track. 2x times 2x, that will give us 4x squared. And then we'll take 2x times 1. We know that's going to be 2x, right? 2x times 1 is 2x. And let me put down the result right here. Because I know I will have to do this next, right? 1 times 2x, that's another 2x. 2x plus 2x, that's a total of plus 4x. I will combine like terms and then put on the final result for the middle right here. And lastly, we take the 1 times 1, which we have passed the 1 like that. 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. This is the left hand side, so let's put it down right here. 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So this is the result of what we have after we square both sides. And now we see we have an x to the second power in this equation. So the strategy is we shall make one side equal to 0, preferably the right-hand side. And then we shall try to solve this by factoring. So let's see, I'm going to subtract 10x on both sides so that this and that will cancel. And I will do the same right here as well, minus 10x. I will also have to minus 5 here and then here so that this and that will cancel. And you see, this is going to give us 4x squared. And right here, 4x minus 10x is going to give us negative 6x. And then 1 minus 5 is going to be minus 4. And this is equal to 0. OK, so, so far so good, isn't it? And now we can just think about how to factor this out and how to solve this by factoring. And you see we have a 4, and this is 6, and this is 4. Just the numbers, we can factor out 2 first. That way, the numbers will be smaller. So let's see, I'm going to factor out the 2. And we will have 2x squared minus 3x, and then this is minus 2, like this. And this is still equal to 0. And I'll keep going, because this is an equation. Right here, I will do the tic-tac-toe, okay? I'll do the tic-tac-toe to factor this out. And we will see this is 2x times x, that will give us 2x squared. And then right here, let me just put down, uh, well, what times 4 give us negative 2, right? So let me put down negative 2 here and pass the 1. Does this work? Well, let's see. 2x times negative 2, that will give us negative 4x. And then 1 times x, that will give us positive x. Negative 4x plus x, that's indeed negative 3x, right? So if you combine like terms in the middle, this and that match. So we are good. And with that being said, this right here, let me just put it down here. The factoring for this equation is going to be, we still have the 2 in the front. Open the parentheses, like this. We read this across. 2x plus 1, right here in the first parentheses. And then the second parentheses will be x minus 2, right here. By now, we have this times this times this is equal to 0. I'm going to set this and that equal to 0. This right here has no x, so you don't need to bother with it. Let me just say we must have 2x plus 1 equal to 0, and then let me say x minus 2 is equal to 0. And of course, let's solve this. So right here, that's minus 1 on both sides. And we see that 2x equals to negative 1. And right here, we know we can divide both sides by 2 so that they cancel. And we know x is equal to negative 1 half. For this one, we can just add a 2 on both sides. 
cancel, cancel. And then we get x is equal to 0 plus 2, which is pass v2. So now, you see, we work out all these steps, and then we have two answers. Well, remember, whenever we have an equation that has a square root involved, we have to make sure the answers are legit, right? We have to do the legit check. So what we have to do is we really have to plug in these two values into the original equation to make sure that it actually works, OK? Sometimes we may have one answer. Sometimes we may have two answers. Sometimes we may have no answers. So I'm just going to do this real quick down below here. I'll plug negative 1 half into this x and that x, and let's see what we get. So I'll do this in blue. So let's see. This is just a check. I will put on 2 times this is negative 1 half, and then plus 1. Does this give me square root of 10 times negative 1 half, and then plus 5? Well, let's see. 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1 plus 1. We end up with 0. And then on the right-hand side, and let me just erase the comma. On the right-hand side here, this is 10 times negative 1 half, which is negative 5, plus 5 is 0 in the square root. Square root of 0 is still 0, so 0 is equal to 0, so this is correct. And let's also check when x is equal to 2, so plug in 2 into this x and that x. So we will have 2 times this 2, and then plus 1. Does this give me square root of 10x, so 10, times this x, which is 2, and then plus 5, right? I'm just plugging into the original equation. And now let's see. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Is this the same as 10 times 2 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, square root of 25 is also 5, isn't it? So of course, this right here, you know it's legit, it's correct as well. So, you see, both number work, right? Both number work. That means we have to circle box. We have to box both answers, OK? We must include both for the answers at the very end. x is equal to negative 1 half. And we can also have another answer, x is equal to pass v2. Do not just get rid of the negative numbers. Don't discriminate negative values for the answers. They both work right here. That's it.